In previous versions of Affinity Photo, it was possible to use the same method for tone mapping that I use in Photoshop. However, in more recent versions of Affinity, this is no longer possible. However, the good news is that there is an alternative, non-destructive method for tone mapping that we can use in Affinity, and I'm going to demonstrate it now. So here I have an untone mapped 16-bit float EXR, and in order to non-destructively tone map this, I'm going to use the live filters in Affinity Photo. So I'll click on the live filters icon at the bottom of the layers palette, and I'm going to select the procedural texture live filter, and this is going to open a dialog box. And what I need to do is to create three equations, one for each color channel. And the way you do this is by clicking on this plus icon. So I'm going to do it three times. And each time I do this, it's going to automatically be assigned to one of the color channels. So we have one equation for red, one for green, and one for blue. The next step is to type in the actual equations, and they are as follows. In the red channel, I'm going to type capital R divided by open bracket, capital R plus sign, one, close bracket. And then I'm going to do something very similar in the next two channels. So in the green channel, it's going to be capital G divided by open bracket, capital G plus one, close bracket. And then I'll do the equivalent equation in the blue channel, which is capital B divided by open bracket, capital B plus one, close bracket. And then when I hit the enter key, you should see behind the dialog box, we now have a fully tone mapped image. And you can control the strength of the tone mapping by changing the opacity of the filter. So as I reduce it, you can see that the amount of burn increases in the image. So it's just a case of finding the level that looks right for you. I'm going to settle for something around 95% and then I'm just going to dismiss this dialog box. And because this filter is non-destructive, you can always come back and change the parameters at any time. Simply locate the live filter in the layers palette, double click on it, and it will reopen the dialog box. And if you don't want to have to type in these equations every time you want to tone map an image, you can simply save this live filter as a preset. To do this, just come to the menu, which is here at the top right of the dialog box, and just select Create Preset and I'm going to call this tone mapping and click OK. And then if I just dismiss the dialog once again, and then I come to the live filter in the layers palette, right click on it and delete the live filter. What I'm going to do is reapply the live filter. So let's go to the live filters icon, select procedural texture. And this time I'm just going to select my tone mapping preset, which is here at the top of the list. And that reapplies the equations. Just bear in mind that it won't save the opacity. You'll have to set that yourself according to your taste and according to the image that you're processing. So that is how you non-destructively tone map in Affinity Photo.